All right, guys, we are on Church Mag's Minecraft server. And I'm over here in my fishing hut. You'll notice my inventory is a little bit full. Really quick, let me just give you kind of a little thing I do whenever I'm out here by myself. Let's see, what can we get rid of? Well, we should be able to put that in there. There's nothing in that that I want. We kind of like that. Let's take that and then we can throw those in there some of that so I come over here I'm doing my auto fishing I always try to grab some of the stuff that I want don't really need more of these Let's see ooh fortune three yes please Beautiful. So I try to just get as much stuff as I could have. You know what? I think I still need puffer fish, but I'll not worry about it for now. Um, and I'm not usually this slow, but I'm trying to talk at the same time. Mending will be good. And this is a really nice way to get levels, which is ultimately what I care about. Um, but the books are nice to have as well. So I try to grab as much stuff as I can, make the whole process very simplistic for myself. All right, I think I can just do this now. Now watch this go. Literally you hit go on this and look at that puppy go. And then you just throw your extra stuff that you do not want into there. It's easy enough. Keep that, keep that. Nope. Nope. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Cool. And then you hit stop and then you basically come through here. This will end up filling up again, but then you just come through all these other ones. And really, if it's a book, I'll take it. If not, I probably won't. And really, I'm only looking for a certain kind of books because most of them, at least for me, I go through all the unbreaking really fast. I go through all of the efficiency and the mending really fast. And all these are ones that I want. All this is stuff I don't want. Don't want. Yeah, I'll keep. Yeah, I'll keep. Keeping all those. Don't need that. Hmm. Don't need those. Keep, 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 keep. Yes. Mm, yeah. I go through some of the, um, oops. Some of the mending is, or the fire or flame as well. So I try to keep those but I don't go to, through those too fast. Is this boring yet, guys? Hopefully not. Efficiency and breaking, looting. And then literally this thing just like fills up. Throw those away. Throw these away. No, let's keep those. And then I just come back over here. Chuck stuff in as needed. Now the best part about this is it's super easy just to drop stuff off. Like you're just so quickly emptying your hand. Now I'll keep those. The tough part is, is when you throw like fish in here, now it's just stuck on full for quite a while. Which is why you come in here come down here. Ooh, never mind. Can we get this? And you'll notice that those are sort of filled, but not. So it just depends. <laughs> Man. 
can empty that. Now I got three more things, and I'm gonna head out. Oh, I stood too close. We can do this. Beautiful. One more. Come on. We can do it. There it is. Awesome. All right, so literally that's going to all empty. I got 72 levels that I can use for myself. Um, I'm going to go take care of some of this real quick, and then I'm going to go run over and grab um, some wood to go finish our skywalk in our jungle um, house, jungle area, because we have a lot of work over there still to do, especially with the skywalk. I want to get, I would love to at least get the ground laid for the skywalk, the path itself is laid out but the brick or the wood on the side and all the fencing is not so I'd like to get some of this laid out on the side so we can get that taken care of so give me a sec I'll be right back all right so here we are we have a nice little decoration there I don't know how I feel about that that looks really awkward from over here like if you're over here at the start of the skywalk at the main hub you really don't notice it. Like, I mean, you'd have to really kind of look for it, but coming way over here, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. We'll have to chat about it. Anyways, he wants to kind of have a secondary way, third, a tertiary way of getting up here um, because the elevator doesn't seem to be working 100%. Anyways, let's go ahead and start laying some of this down. I figure we'll just make it all the way to the end, and then we will lay all the wood on top of it, and then we'll keep going. Is that how we're doing it? Should I go lower? Hmm. No, because it's up there. Yeah, let's just keep that going. That's fine. Sorry, I'm second-guessing myself now. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the idea of sin and when God first created the world, um, it talks about in the Bible with um, Genesis where God created the world and then Adam and Eve introduced sin and because they introduced sin, they introduced pain. And just recently I've had to struggle with this concept of pain, uh, which has not been fun. I found out that I have migraines. If you don't know what migraines are, migraines migraines are like, think about the worst headache you've ever had and multiply it by like a thousand. And not only does it hurt in the moment, but it hurts um, for a day or two after. If you get really bad ones like my mother does, you can have something called status migraines where you just continue to have the migraine for multiple days. Um, there's other kind of migraines even on top of that, but basically the idea is it's really bad, no good fun. Um, nobody wants them, and you should be very thankful if you don't have to go through them. Um, and it's been a real pain because they get triggered whenever I go and work out. And I love, I've been working on trying to um, do a 5K, a, um, not a half marathon, but a um, run to be able to run like three miles um, all in one go. To be able to take part in that a short marathon, I guess. Um, and unfortunately, because of my with the running, that's what gets that's what triggers my migraines, and so I'm not able to do that anymore. And it's really discouraging because I feel like that was something that was becoming a part of my story about being able to work out and get into shape and be healthier, be able to do what God um, wants for me, what God plans. And now something like this happens, and it's really frustrating. Um, and I was feeling really good. I was feeling really healthy after those workouts. I was getting to the point where I actually missed working out if I couldn't go. And so I was enjoying them to the as, as much as you can enjoy working out. It was actually a really good blast. And unfortunately, here I am now unable to do so. So with all of that being said, it's interesting this conversation about the um, sin and then the fall 
and then the introduction of pain and the introduction of death and having that conversation about the fact that at some point you will die. Um, it's a big piece of the Christian faith because for people that are Christians and they die, they understand that there is a place that they will go to called heaven and they get to live with God and with everybody else that has um, become part of Jesus's family through salvation. And there's a whole conversation about salvation that we won't necessarily get into, but I think it's something that if you have questions about, I would love to talk to you about. Um, but it's really this interesting conversation about um, with death and pain of at some point there was none and at some point there won't be any more. And it's a really cool thing to think about, but something that's really hard to grasp because right now that's really all we know. All we understand is, is pain and death. And that's kind of a morbid thing to say, but it's true. Um, think about the last time that you stubbed your toe or bit your tongue or got a um, fingernail, um, like a hangnail, or you oh, got a paper cut. I don't know. Just a whole bunch of different things that you could have experienced. And it's because of sin that that's there. That's pain. That's suffering. Um, literally, people didn't understand what that was. Ad at least Adam and Eve did not understand what that was before the fall. And now, that's all we understand. For me, at least, I don't know what I can't understand life without all these things. It's just a part of life. Now, I have this personal conversation in my head about the fact that I think that that is a good thing because it reminds us of the fall and that we're not perfect beings because that reminds us of the fact that there's more to live for and being able to understand that our home is in heaven that's a good thing but doesn't make it any less frustrating and worrisome and upsetting and so this idea of pain is really an interesting interesting one he just gave me a potato Hmm. Um, man, we did not get very far. We're already low on resources. Well, let's keep going. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to get the fences up. That's okay. Because it's just, at the very least, widens the path, um, but also offers a little bit more security, which is A. Okay, so let's do that, and then here, do this, and that, and then we're actually going to go up again, and this actually goes up pretty quickly, so this will be a little bit of a challenge, a fun challenge. So we're going to keep going, and then I think it goes up pretty quick again. So literally that's all we're doing at that height. It's a really quick setup. And we do the same thing over here. Even the idea, I will say as far as pain, even the idea of um, mental health, and I'm a counselor, and the mental health of struggling with depression. There is no, there was no such thing in the Garden of Eden of um, anxiety, stress, worry, depression. And yet, when we lose something, when we lose someone, we have those things. So if you lose your phone, we talk about with Church Mag the idea of fear of missing out or um, of how attached we are to our phones. Um, we have that stress, we have that anxiety, we have that worry. When we lose someone we love, we also have those symptoms, probably more extreme, more significant than ever. And so recognizing that that is something that has always been there from the fall, but not from beginning of time. And that's a really difficult concept to understand. Um, and I'm curious what you guys think about it. Oh, you know what? Let's just go one more. 
He may, they, whoever builds here might take this out, but I'm going to do that. I think we just go until we run out of stuff. And then we call it an episode. Nah, I really... Mm -hmm. I don't have any more of this wood, so I'd have to harvest some more of this wood. So I wonder with you guys, with being in technology literate, and I say technology literate, not necessarily you know all the ins and outs of technology or social media, stuff like that, but I wonder being technology literate, really kind of understanding technology, it's a part of your life. Um, this concept of the fall is really an interesting conversation for people because this idea of always being connected, always having an opinion, um, always trying to engage at some capacity is something that's fairly new. And Facebook, we always post the best parts of our life, don't we? We always post smiling pictures and happy updates and we checked in because we're checked in at events because they're super fun and we want to make sure everybody sees them but that's not actually how life works um, life is much more gritty we're not always we don't always have a smile on our face we're not always going and doing something fun there's so much more to it than that right there's putting your work in for the day whether you're a student at school or a parent trying to make ends meet, um, whether you're a pastor um, trying to figure out the next way to um, get the message out to people, or a stay-at-home mom or dad who is trying to wrangle children and stay on top of things. Um, but all those things are tough work. It talks about in the Bible where uh, Adam had to till the land and had he was he had sweat on his brow, something that he's never had to do before. Before the fall, when you wanted food, you just went out into the garden and it, it didn't ever rain in the Garden of Eden. It talks about how the water came up from the ground to water the food. So literally, Adam never had to work the ground. He never had to... Um, try to plant things it was just all provided to him that's how wonderful things were it was it was paradise um, now it's paradise if we can have five minutes to ourselves if we go play on minecraft for a little bit um, that can be our little tiny blimp of a sanctuary for ourselves and then we get people that become addicted to video games because they're constantly trying to strive for that and they're ruining relationships and they're not taking care of themselves all because of the fall all because of this thing that's happened in our lives in everybody's lives um, and as Christians we recognize the source of that all right let's get all of those that'll finish us up so I'd be interested in what you guys have to think about this conversation of the fall um, as far as pain as far as frustration as far as um, understanding where we fit in all this um, one of the things that Christianity holds to pretty well is the fall and the resurrection um, with salvation now how and how do we display that and everything in between we all kind of gripe and fight over about some but at the very least, we can say that those two things are very true for all of our lives. Um, it's the nitty gritty details that we're not very good at. Um, but what, what do you think? What do you think about video games and talking about the fall? How does that look like for you guys? Um, is there a way of introducing the idea of the fall into Minecraft um, or other um, family-friendly type games that would be appropriate to share something like that in. I'd, I'd be interested in what you guys have to say. Um, so tell me what you guys think about that. So leave your guys' comments down below. And, I will, and also tell me what you think about this. Is this, I mean, we still got, look at all this. I'm going to have to do all of this. I probably will do it off camera or on a live stream or something. But man, oh man, we've got a lot to go with this. Um, I think it'll be good though. I don't think it'll be a big problem. 
Anyways, tell me what you guys think, and I will catch you guys next time. See you later. Bye-bye.